The next number of today is two is in two million dollars. Now that's the amount of the bail set for Suge Knight in his latest run in with the law. Why do I feel like I need to tread lightly in this segment? Yep, Suge Knight has landed back behind bars. Now the incident in question began on the set of the new NWA biopic straight out of Compton. Of course, NWA was the LA based gangster rap group which launched the careers of Easy E and Dr. Dre and Ice Cube, in which pop the rights, hip hop, and transformed it and took it to a whole new level. Of course, NWA was signed to Suge Knight's label, Death Row Records. Now, the altercation broke out where the film was being shot and then spilled over to a local burger joint where Suge Knight allegedly ended up running over one of the people there, killing them and then injuring others. His lawyer says that he'll be fully exonerated once the facts of the case are known. But of course, this isn't Suge Knight's first brush with the law. Back in 1996, he was behind the wheel when Tupac was shot. One year later, he ended up in jail for violating probation. And then when he got out from that, went back to jail in 2001. Just last year, he was arrested with Cat Williams for stealing a camera, allegedly. And then last summer, was shot in the stomach six times at a pre MTV VMA party. Now, while the rest of society may shake their heads at Suge Knight, the reality is that the rap that he put forward transformed rap's audience from one of being mostly black to one that's mostly white, and it's remained so. And so the truth of the fact is that we are all partly responsible for Suge Knight, and he tapped into a vein of our culture, which still clearly is there. And so we actually may all be closer to Suge Knight than we want to admit.